All right, boys and girls, this is your chapter four test review. I am starting this from a halfway point, doing all the new material first, and then I'll go back at the end and uh, do the first couple sections. So go ahead and pause your video, write down these questions, try to work them out, and then press play when you think you have the answers, and I'll explain them. All right, so here we go. Hopefully you got everything okay. To multiply fractions, all you do is just multiply straight across. Three times one is three, five times two is 10. I can't reduce it, so that's my final answer. Now, if I have a whole number here, I can make it into a fraction by putting it over one, so I go ahead and do that. Two times negative four is going to be negative eight, and three times one is three. Now, I do need to turn this into a mixed number. Since it's negative here, the mixed number is gonna be negative. Three goes into eight twice with a remainder of two. Denominator's three. If you're not sure how I did that, top number in the box and just do long division, not in your calculator. Three goes into eight twice, two times three is six. Eight minus six is two, so it's two remainder two. That's the whole number, that's the numerator. Now right here, I have a negative times a negative, which is a positive. One times three is three. Three times seven is 21. And I can reduce this, I can divide top and bottom by three. Three goes into three one time, three goes into 21 seven times. So one seventh is my answer. Right here, I have a mixed number. Anytime you have a mixed number, you wanna turn that into an improper fraction first. So, the one fourth is going to stay the same. Five times one is five, and five plus six, or five plus one is six. So I have one fourth times six over five, straight across. One times six is six, four times five is 20. I can reduce this, both these numbers are even, so I can divide by two on top and bottom. Six divided by two is three, 20 divided by two is 10. So I have three tenths as my answer. All right, so the next section that we have to work on is converting between systems. Now, for this section right here, when we get to it on the test, I'm gonna give you the conversions that you need. I'll either give you a reference sheet or I'll write it next to the question. So go ahead and uh, pause the uh, video and try to do all of these problems using the conversions right here. All right, so hopefully you got it by now. So when we convert between systems, what we're gonna do is you write down what you start with. In this case, it was six yards. Multiplication sign, fraction bar. Now we're converting to meters. So that goes on top. And in case you haven't noticed, the way the question looks is the way your setup looks for the problem. Now meters is on top, since yards is here, that goes on bottom. Now you fill in the numbers from the conversion. For yard, I had one. And for meter, I had 0 0.91. Yard and yard cancel, and I multiply straight across. If you want to, you can make this a fraction by putting it over one, that's up to you. So in our calculators, six times 0 0.91, we end up getting 5.46, and the unit is meter. Right here, we have 1.6 centimeter times fraction bar. We're going to inches, so that goes on top. What we have goes on bottom, and I fill in the numbers that I have here. This is a 2.54, and this is a one. Again, if you wanna make that a fraction by putting it over one, you can do so. Centimeter and centimeter cancel, so on top, 1.6 times 1 is 1.6, and on bottom, 1 times 2.54 is 2.54. The units left are inches. Now, I don't leave it like that. I do turn it into a decimal, and on your test, I'm going to have you round everything to the nearest hundredth, just like we did in our book. So 1.6 divided by 2.54, and we end up with 0 0.629. To round this to the nearest hundredth, this is the hundredth place, I look to the right. Since it's five or more, I add one to the hundredth place. So this is gonna be 0 0.63. So we say this is about 0 0.63 inches. And the last problem in our set here, we're starting out with 17 meters times fraction bar, and we're trying to go to yards, just like the problem, just like that. Since meters is here, meters goes here. And the number for meter was 0 0.91. The number for yards was one. You can make that a fraction by putting it over one. Meter and meter cancel. On top, I have 17 times one, which is 17. On bottom, one times 0 0.91, which is 0 0.91, and the units yard. Again, in the calculator, 17 divided by 0 
18.681318. There's my hundredth place, so I look to the right. Is it five or more? No. So this becomes 18.68. 18.68 units are yards. Okay, that was converting between systems. And the last section in this chapter is chapter four, section eight, dividing fractions. Here's three problems. Go ahead and pause the video and try to work them out. Alrighty, so to divide by fractions, um, if you remember in my notes, I told you you can't do it. Instead, we use keep, change, flip, and we turn these into multiplication problems. So first of all, I can make this into a fraction by putting it over one. Keep, change, flip. One third times one over five. One times one is one. Three times five is 15. Can't reduce it, so I'm done. Right here, I need to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction first. So it's gonna be two thirds divided by three times three is nine and nine plus one is 10. So I have 10 thirds. Now I use my keep, change, flip, now that I don't have any mixed numbers. So keep, change, flip. Two times three is six. Three times 10 is 30. Now, I can reduce this. Both of these are divisible by six. Six goes into six one time. Six goes into 30 five times. And there's my final answer. If you reduce it by three, that's fine. You would just have to reduce it again to get to one-fifth. Now for the last one, I've got negative three-fourths divided by one and one-half. I've got to turn that into an improper fraction. So negative three-fourths divided by two times one is two, two plus one is three, so I have three halves. Keep, change, flip, and I really recommend you write those letters when you do it on your test. Negative three-fourths times two-thirds. Negative times a positive is a negative, and three times two is six. Four times three is 12, and six over 12 reduces to one-half, so this is still gonna be negative, but it'll be negative one-half. And that's it for the second half of everything that we learned. Now let's go to the first half. So, the very first section was chapter four, section one, terminating and repeating decimals. I want you to write these ones as decimals and write these as a fraction or mixed number. Go ahead and pause the video and do it. All right, so to write anything as a decimal, all you're gonna do is if it's a mixed number, make it improper, and then just top number divided by bottom, use your calculator, that's fine. So for this one right here, since it's negative, it's still gonna be negative, but three divided by five, we end up with 0 0.6. Done. To make this into an improper fraction, four times three is 12, 12 plus one is 13, so I have 13 over four, and then in the calculator, 13 divided by four, I end up with 3.25. Seven ninths, seven divided by nine, I have a repeating decimal, that means I have bar notation. You put the bar over the number that repeats. So I get 0 0.7, bar notation over the seven. Now to write these as a fraction or mixed number, you write it the way you say it. The correct way to say this using the place values is negative 7 tenths. So I say negative 7 tenths. I can't reduce it, so I'm done. The proper way to say this is 4 and 8 tenths. So 4 and 8 tenths. Now I can reduce 8 tenths, so I'm not done yet. Still gonna be a whole number of four, but I can divide top and bottom by two. Eight divided by two is four, 10 divided by two is five. Next section. Chapter four, section two, comparing and ordering rational numbers. So I might give you three things, tell you to put them in order from least to greatest, or I could just say, is it greater than, less than, or equal to? So my recommendation for this, turn everything into decimals. You can make them all percents or fractions if you want to, but turning them into decimals is the easiest thing. So 5 6, we have 5 divided by 6, and that equals 0 0.83 bar notation over the 3. And 8 9, 8 divided by 9, I end up with 0 0.8 bar notation over the 8. 
Now, when we look at this, since there's bar notation over the 8, that means in the 100th place here, there would also be an 8. So when I compare these, 0 and 0 tells me nothing, 8 and 8 tells me nothing, 3 and 8. Well, I know 8's bigger than 3, so it's going to go this way. That's the bigger one. Right here, 3%. To make this into a decimal, I can either do the Beyonce and go to the left to the left, or I can divide it by 100. Either way, I end up with 0 0.03. Right here, 3 ninths, 3 divided by 9 is 0 0.3 bar notation. Well, 0, 0, 0, 3. That's the greater one. So again, it's facing this way. That's the bigger number. Next, chapter 4, section 3 adding and subtracting like fractions. So go ahead and write down these problems, pause the video, do them. When you're done, come back. Okay, like fractions are fractions that have a common denominator, the same denominator. So we've got 5 ninths minus 2 ninths. Well, 5 minus 2 is 3. So 5 ninths minus 2 ninths is 3 ninths. And I can reduce that. Top and bottom are divisible by 3. 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 9 three times. There's my answer. Right here, negative 11 twelfths minus negative 5 twelfths. Don't be scared of this with all the negative signs. Use your calculator if you need to. In the calculator, 11, make it negative. That's that part. Minus, that was that part. Negative 5. 5, make it negative. That's that part. Hit equal. We end up with negative 6. And on bottom, I still have 12. Now, I can reduce this. Top and bottom are divisible by 6. So, it's still negative. 6 goes into 6 one time. 6 goes into 12 two times. So, negative 1 half. And there's my answer. Moving right along. Chapter 4, Section 4. Add and subtract unlike fractions. Go ahead and pause the video. Press play when you think you have your answers. Alrighty, so for this one, for these ones, we need to get common denominators. So common denominator, well here I see that 3 goes into 6, so I'm going to use 6 as a common denominator. Since that's already over 6, I can just write it, 1 6, no change there, but it's going to be plus something over 6. Now, I need to figure out 2 thirds equals how many 6, I need to figure that out. Well, 3 times what equals 6? 2. And if I multiply by 2 to get that 6, that means I have to multiply by 2 to get the top number also. 2 times 2 is 4. So now I have 1 6 plus 4 6, and that's going to equal 5 6. Now over here, the larger denominator is 4, and 3 doesn't go into that evenly. 4 times 2 is 8, 3 doesn't go into that. 4 times 3 is 12, and they both go into that. So I'm going to have negative something over 12, plus a negative something over 12. And I have to figure out what those numerators are. Well, for the denominator, I had to multiply 3 by what to get 12? 4. And if I multiply by 4 on bottom, I do it on top. 4 times 1 is 4. Here, I had to multiply the 4 by 3 to get the denominator, so I do that on top as well. 1 times 3 is 3. So now I have negative 4 twelfths plus negative 3 twelfths. Well, negative 4 plus negative 3 is going to be negative 7, and the denominator stays the same, 12. And that's our final answer. And next section, chapter 4, section 5, add and subtract mixed numbers. This is basically the same thing, except for you've got to turn mixed numbers into impropers, and you've got to make these guys into fractions. Pause the video, give it a shot, and I'll go over the answers in a second. Okay. So... 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 1 is 49. So I have 49 eighths. Plus 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 plus 5 is 21. So I have 21 eighths. 49 plus 21.